so hi there I'm going to make a video about the plan signal device uh, it is actually quite easy to use so I'm going to first show you how to connect this circuit to the board okay so this is the Arduino board and this is the circuit so the first thing you do is to first put wires on the board so there are actually let me see if I can get this to focus so there are actually three ports that are used for this uh, device to connect to the Arduino board and the first is the power so up here there are two pins as you can see these two pins and the the upper one is for 5 volts and the lower one is for GND the ground to see to the Arduino uh, let me pick up my wires first so in my setup I'm going to first use this yellow wire so yellow wire here and blue wire here so this basically means I need to connect this yellow wire to the 5 volt port to Arduino and this blue wire is for GND the last wire is for signal output this is a red wire and it is plugged here so it's upper right of the board I put it here so now this is the board oh, it has the um, SD card shield and an Arduino uh, under it so for uh, for the uh, for the SD card uh, you can basically pick any one you like just make sure you format it correctly and then you put this red wire so red wire here into the analog analog zero port so that is here analog zero port oh I'm not sure if it focuses cool and then you basically connect the powers so as we just said blue wire is for G and D is for ground so that would be here so there are two ports for ground on the Arduino and I'm just connecting to one of them and the yellow wire is for 5 volts so it's here the 5 volts okay okay so 5 volts for the yellow wire and that should be it to the Arduino and let me just try to find some more wires for connecting the signals So I've got a bunch of ones here. I'm going to first pull out a yellow one. It looks cracked. Okay. So that should be it. I'm going to use another pair of yellow and red wires. Yellow and red wires. These two. So the yellow wire is going to be connected to the ground or actually to the base, to the soil of the plant where it grows and the red wire is going to be on the leaf or the stem of the plant so let's first connect them and as we just talked about the circuit here it is uh, these, two, these four ports actually are for the signal connections let me just try to do the lighting a little bit better so it can be back seen here Okay. Let's see. Yep, it works well. So these four ports are for the are for the signals, and especially the upper one is for signal high or high voltage signal, which means it is connected to the leaf or the stem of the plant. So the upper two are, the upper two ports are connected to the uh, plants, and the lower two ports go to the soil. So. Let's just try to put the yellow first. So this one goes to the soil, it goes to the lower ports. Uh, either one works, so it doesn't matter which one you get. And the upper wire, the red wire, goes to the, pl to the plant leaf. 
So that is it. This is the basic connection to the board. And now, let me try to connect to the Arduino first. There it is. So now Arduino is connected. And we just need to connect these two wires to the, to the plants. I've got a pretty old plant here. So uh, it's going to take some time before we can get a better signal. I'm using this kind of uh, electro gel to get the best performance and the lowest resistance between the plants and the wires I'm using. So let me just first connect this. So I'm going to drip some electro gels to it. Ooh. And then I'm going to insert it onto the base of or actually the soil of the plants I want to connect to. And this one is for the the red wire is for the plants. Okay, here it is. Let me just try to pick a random one. Maybe I'll say maybe this one will work. Oh, sorry, the old no one. Actually, all of them are old. So make sure you can isolate the plants first before you connect them. And I'll just try to get this untangled. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to put it here. Put it right here. So that's basically on the stand. Uh, I think in the lab there is a 3D structure that allows you to basically tape the wire onto it and adjust the height and the slope of the arm so you can get a uh, support for the wire. Uh, in this case I don't have it right now at my home. So I'm going to connect it like this. The red wire goes to the plant, the yellow wire goes to the ground, the base of the soil. And now let's just try to initiate this Arduino. I'm going to move my uh, camera a little bit. There it is. Uh, maybe a little bit upwards. Okay, I think this gets a good output. Let's first try to connect to the Arduino. Let's say it's not Arduino, it's going to be COM4 ports. So every time you enter this, there is going to be an initializing thing, which means you have to unplug the SD card first. Or actually try to move your SD card a little bit to make sure it's, it has a good connection. So we're getting some readings here. I believe the reading is not valid because the, uh, the plan is already old. You just couldn't get a lot of good signals from it. All right, now it's steady. Oh, you can see around 0 0.5 or 0 0.45 as its signal. Oh, if I can just enlarge this a little bit. Yeah, around 0 0.4. Okay, so the signal is a little bit dropping because uh, the plant is really old. You just couldn't get much uh, activity from it and it doesn't supply a good signal because again the plant is old it doesn't have that much activity to give you a good uh, electric signal but uh, I think that would be the device I actually tested it uh, maybe two or three weeks ago when the plants were fresh and they were active they gave a good signal response but now it's not so just make sure you can use the uh, the best plants you can find there, the uh, the most active, the most young, the most fresh, the freshest. Okay. So every time you see this <coughs> signal monitoring stuff, and if you want to stop it and get all your data saved to an SD card, you just type something here in the COM port. So that is going to be here I guess yep here it is so try to come up with anything you can 
right maybe a maybe I just typed CO for it so I just typed CO for it and I just press on enter so it will say so it will say the terminal is uh, the system is terminated and now you can unplug the SD card so let's just unplug the SD card and you just put it onto a card reader and connect it to the PC so I'm going to I'm going to open up a page for PC here so here <coughs> So here is the data. Uh, make sure you clear the previous file every time, or save the file first before you want to uh, before you want to continue to the next experiment. Let's just open up the file, and we can see all these voltage readings. So this is basically what I have. For this, uh, for this device, yeah. So here is the reading part. It was around 0 0.5 when it started, but uh, as the plant was a little bit old and unfresh, the signal reading was kind of decaying because because of that. But beyond that, everything should work fine if you use the best plants you can find or the fresh plants you can find. And this can be uh, this can be more easily imported into MATLAB or Excel for later data analysis. And that is it. So please just tell me if you have any more questions or email me. That would be great.